with Kenny McPeak, winner of the Kentucky Oaks and the Kentucky Derby. Let's start with the ladies first. Kenny, uh, we have Torpedo Anna coming back here into the Acorn. Five weeks off, how'd that break treat the horse? She really didn't need a break. I could have made a case to run her back even in the Preakness. Um, this is a filly that's just really strong and tough and has done exceptionally well and um, pretty easy filly to be around at this stage. And I think she's actually improving from, well, she's only had two races this year. And I don't think that there's any notion that she's done doing, doing her best work yet. I think it's out there. In terms of this field, similar foes as last time, a couple of a fresh shooter here and there. How are you feeling about this race? Very confident. Again, I, I like the draw. She can sit outside and kind of dictate where she wants to be. And we'll leave that up to Brian. But um, she handled her, this racetrack. We've taken her over to the front side and galloped her on the main and had a light schooling in the paddock. But... She handled everything perfectly, and, and I'm excited for her next run. Mystic Dan, Kentucky Derby winner. Coming in here, off a little bit shorter rest. How's the horse adjusted to Saratoga? He's been easy. Um, this horse has maintained his, his uh, training and eating, and everything seems to be consistent from earlier in the winter to even now. So we've kept a close eye because we're running back quickly. But um, he's handled it fine. I mean, he's a, just a lovely horse to be around, and every day... Um, every day seems to be a good one for him, and fingers crossed we get to Saturday and he runs big. This has come back as a fantastic race. From fresh shooters, some horses that's raced against before. Tell me a little about this track and what you're expecting, pace, uh, any type of pace scenario or, or moisture in the track, anything that you can look forward to? Well, I think there's some, some obvious speed and there's some obvious closers, and we're obviously in the middle. Um, that, that is going to be interesting to see how this race unfolds and how, how the pace sets up. Um, we've got Brian on him and Brian knows the horse and we're going to obviously trust Brian as we always do. And uh, How these things set up are, are not predictable. Uh, we, we learned that in, in Baltimore where we, got, we hesitated a little bit and Cesar Gray got off to an easy lead and we couldn't catch him. But my horse still ran a respectable second and I suspect that he, he can run back to, to to the Derby and the Preakness, he's going to be right there. Last question for you. I don't know if it's the first or the third most popular animal in your barn. How's Sonny? Sonny's good. Uh, Sonny's um, here, over here on the floor. He's uh, guarding the desk, I suppose. But um, he goes uh, goes for his walks every morning with me, and maybe we'll take him to the lake and get him in the water a little bit today. But um, he loves it up here in Saratoga like we all do. Best luck, Sadie. Thank you.